So this is now an optional tutorial that you can do anytime on your own. We talk a bit about Doxygen, which is a tool to generate documentation from source code. And here we are referring particularly to our listing 3, which where you found that we had this weird looking annotations, add file for example and add author, and all those little annotations, they are understood in, by a tool called Doxygen and they can be used to generate documentation automatically from this file. So the benefit by having the code and the documentation close together is that it's easier to spot when they diverge and it's easier of course to make code changes and at the same time manipulate the documentation which is very nearby. So what can we do with this tool? Well, and how does it work? First of all, we need to generate a so-called doxy file, which is kind of a project file. And how to do this? You find the command over here. So let me just copy and paste it into my terminal. Oh, and uh, by the way, so here what I did, I copied the documented line count to C example from above that we just looked at into this directory. So that's our documented code, all right? And now I generate a doxy file. It says I created this configuration file and now I should edit this file if I want or I directly manipulate it. Let me real quick edit the, the file. So you find a lot of comments inside here and a lot of explanation, which is quite useful. And there should be something called project name. And let me call this project now line count. Okay, because that was, um, I suppose, what the little program did. So as you can see, you can define certain um, information like project logo, output directory, and so on and so forth. I'm not going too much into detail because it's a really long file. Doxygen understands a lot of options. Most importantly is to get something working and that's as simple as directly invoking the tool Doxygen on my doxy file. And if I do this, I'll get two outputs. I get HTML and LaTeX in this, in this case, and I can open the HTML now and have a look at my little documentation. And here you see it created a, a little HTML page, my line count, line count documentation because the project was called this way. And now let's have a look in the file list we see that we have one documented file, documented line count C, and I get a little nice graph in my case, the dependency graph, which, which shows the header files that I used by my um, C file, and I get, you know, the basically rendered version of this, pro this metadata of the file and the a rendered version of my function definition with the definition of what these parameters do. So there's a lot of, of things that you can do with Doxygen and basically any modern documentation environment has similar kind of annotations. That's why I would say it's not in vain to um, learn a bit how this works. Underneath you find in the PDF also the rendered um, latex basically. Yeah, and that's basically it. Have, if you have time, you know, have a look at those different annotations. In particular, try to understand a little bit, you know, what these different keywords do. We we have on purposely not added too much information about it. Um, it's also rather, I think, self-explanatory. And but you can find further information um, also in the internet if you look for Doxygen. Now enjoy this little documentation and I wish you a great day.